Hey, yo. All right, I have a collective reading, but first I must make a comment that a certain person, since I made some sort of comment, I think, on a flat earth bullshit post, and then this person, underscore, B-I-E human, underscore, went through some of my posts and made a comment on the, the post I made about the Evan Rachel Wood documentary on HBO and me telling my story about being sexually assaulted and raped, and they commented... Maybe I shouldn't be be drunk and, you know, what message in, am I sending to men? Okay, first, the first time I was assaulted, yes, I was drunk and a man, while I was passed out, touched me and nothing came of it. And then I've been raped and assaulted since. And... Whatever this person's insinuation is, is that, well, I shouldn't be getting drunk all the time. Okay, I'm, you know, I went through a relationship with a narcissist that I got raped daily or very often. And I wasn't drunk during that. And I've been raped where I wasn't on anything. I've been sexually assaulted where I wasn't on anything. So, this person was most probably male. Like, I really don't care about looking at people's pages and it's whatever. Like, he commented on quite a few things and I'm just like, you know, let me try to find the fucks I give on your opinion. Dot, dot, dot. No, none found. But thinking about it, that one comment on that one video, blaming the victim that is unconscious, that is unable to give consent because they were drunk, it's their fault, which is the same way the police treated me either that or I was just lying. You're the reason why many people, it's not just women that get sexually assaulted and raped. Men do too, but it's predominantly women. But you, asshole, are the reason why a lot of people don't report it. But anyways... All right, I asked for a message for the collective. Let's get to that message. Oh, I have to comment on my, my robe. Since my mother hated my, my old robe because it was white and dingy, she got me a new one with unicorns and it's purple. Anyways, message to the collective. I've got a new phone case here, so. All right. Now, we have Deceit with Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. There's a lot of fake news, misinformation going on in the world, indoctrination. The ones in power are lying to you, and a lot of people are falling for it. The ones that are awake, you got to focus on your connection to source, to sift through the bullshit, because the ones that are falling for all of this shit... They're not going to make it out very well. The ones that are awakened, you need to stay connected to source. You need to 
find your own inner truth and don't listen to the bullshit because you see where she is? She's in a dark, hellish place and the lies are leading you to a dark, hellish place that you do not want to be. And you see the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. See, I don't know much about the Archangels. I hate religion, so I really don't care about any of that. But I do know of the chakra system. And she is awakened. She is of the light. She is connected to source. Don't fall for the bullshit. Follow your own knowing and the connection you have to source because you do not want to go to this place and that's where the vast majority of people are going because they're falling for the bullshit and um as much as you know a lot of us would like to save them there's no saving them they're too far then we have success with the third chak- chakra, Archangel Shem- Shemuel. I don't know anything about the Archangels. I really don't give a shit about Archangels and all of that religious crap. But in order to have success, you need to connect with your emotional center. The third chakra is your raw emotional center, your gut feelings. You cannot have success unless you clear and understand what is going on within you. This is also a being of light that is also connected to source. But in the third chakra, which is the lower chakras, which the lower chakras are kind of the gunk that need to be cleared the most in order to have success in, you know, what is going on with this bullshit. You have to clear and understand what is going on within you. You can't focus on just the negative emotions that are coming up, just the gunk that is coming up within you because it is so much bigger than just you or just, you know, a few things. Like, there is a web of bullshit going on. So you need to clear this shit out so that you can be connected to source. Like, you need to clear yourself and able to be successful in eradicating this bullshit because a lot of these people are not going to make it. But if you're awakened, you can have success if you clear out the bullshit. Like, yes, we are, you know, spiritual beings in human form. And we have daily lives to live through. But take in mind the spiritual being that is within you. You have to clear out the bullshit. You have to stop listening to the bullshit. And connect to source. Like You have to be the best version of you. And... In part, if people haven't woken up by now, they're not going to. This is what they're destined for. (laughs) And that is very sad, but we've had a few years to, you know, focus on the bullshit. And there are still many that are stuck in it. Now, you have to focus on those that you can help. You have to hold the light for those that you can help. And 
I know it's it's hard to give up on those that will never see, but you have to. You will not be successful unless you do. And focus on the light that is in you and the light that is around the other people that are awakened and band together. And maybe if you have success in that, you can help those that are stuck in this. But current energies, not exactly possible. But then we have bottom of the deck, love with Angel of Balance, and you see, there's a whole heart, and you love all, but then there's this little heart that is dark, and it's it's all connected but there's nothing you can really do about this little part of you and of the world that is dark because we are all dual beings we all have light and dark within us and just because you have darkness within you does not mean you are bad. It is just a part of who you are. And you need to find the balance in that. You need to find the balance with the light and the dark. You need to accept the parts of yourself. You need to accept what is going on in this world. And just like any war... There will be losses. You have to accept that. There is no light without dark. There is no dark without light. It is duality. And you have to balance those parts. You have to accept everything that's going on. You can't deny any of it. You have to accept it and integrate it. I recently understood that a being that has always been with me is Anubis, which is, you know, the Egyptian god of the underworld, and why I have almost and have died so many times and I have been brought back. Because the people of the light, the warriors... The people that are to bring change are here for a reason. And I've had many entities try to kill me over the years. And I've always been brought back. And I just recently found out that you know, it's been Anubis. And if you're here and you're awake, you are here for a reason. And you've gone through what you have gone through for a reason. It has taught you many lessons. So you need to balance all of that. You need to accept what is going on. That this is coming. You can't save everybody, but you need to stay connected to Source. You will have success when you accept everything. And clear the gunk out of your emotional center. And become the warrior. The spiritual warrior. That is what we're here for. Alright. I love you guys.